Say hello to Android Things 1.0, Google's managed operating system for building and maintaining Internet of Things devices at scale. I'm Wayne Pekarsky, and today I'm going to explain what's new in version 1.0, how it provides long-term support for production devices, and a new lineup of system-on-module hardware. So what is Android Things? Android Things is Google's managed operating system that enables you to build and maintain Internet of Things devices at scale. We provide a robust platform that does the heavy lifting with certified hardware, rich developer APIs, and secure managed software updates using Google's backend infrastructure, so you can focus on building your product. Version 1.0 is the first release of Android Things that is ready for your production devices. We just recently completed our developer preview, and the preview SDK was downloaded over 100,000 times. Developer feedback and engagement has been critical in our journey towards 1.0, and we're grateful to the over 10,000 developers who've provided us feedback through filing bugs, attending events, and posting in our communities. A core part of our IT platform is the supported hardware, based on a system on module or SOM design. So what is this? A SOM is a fully integrated component with CPU, memory, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and flash storage that you can just drop into your final design, just like you would use a library when writing software. The SOM is certified by Google, and we provide a board support package that includes the kernel, drivers, and libraries to support Android. With Android Things 1.0, we've announced support for SOMs based on designs from NXP, Qualcomm, and MediaTek. And these modules are certified for production use and available in quantities to make real consumer products. If you want to try Android Things right now without buying a SOM, you can even use any one of our developer platforms, even the Raspberry Pi 3. And this highlights an important feature of Android Things. It's quick and easy for prototyping, and when you're ready for production, there's a clear path to buying SOMs in small or large quantities, depending on your needs, and then your software is ready to go. You can then design your own printed circuit board, or PCB, to connect your hardware to the SOM. When building IoT devices, maintaining security is very important. Providing timely software updates over the air, or OTA, is a fundamental part of that and stability fixes and security patches are supported on production hardware platforms, and automatic updates are enabled for all devices by default. For each Android Things version, Google will offer free stability fixes and security patches for three years, with additional options for extended support. Even after the official support window ends, you'll still be able to continue to push app updates to your devices. You use the Android Things console to upload Android APKs with your updates so the OTA mechanism can push them out to your devices. You can initially experiment with 100 active devices for non-commercial use. When you're ready for mass production, we'll provide you with a distribution agreement, and now you're ready to sell your devices in large quantities to the public. With Android Things, you can build apps using the rich framework provided by the Android SDK and Google Play services, including the same UI toolkit, multimedia support, and connectivity APIs used by mobile developers today. You can also easily integrate your apps with popular Google services like Firebase, TensorFlow, and Cloud IoT Core. This is done using the many existing Android client libraries. And since it's Android, you can use Android Studio and all of its languages and tools right out of the box. This means you can easily program and debug in Kotlin, Java, C++, or C, depending on your needs. Who else is using Android things? You may have seen the new voice-activated speakers from Polk, LG, and iHome, as well as smart displays from Lenovo, LG, and JBL. These devices showcase the powerful capabilities of the Google Assistant and are coming soon to stores near you. There are also lots of startups and design agencies using Android Things to prototype innovative ideas for all kinds of devices you're going to see very soon. We want to make it easy for anyone to start building IoT devices without having to own your own factory and without requiring lots of funding. This is all part of our efforts to democratize hardware development, making it accessible to more software developers out there. If you want to get started with Android Things, we have a great community website, androidthings.withgoogle.com, where you can see the developer kits and the interesting projects created by others. So what's next? Get some hardware, check out the documentation, download some sample source code, and try it out. And join our community to ask questions and share your ideas with others. Android Things 1.0 is now open for business and ready for production. I'm really looking forward to seeing all the exciting products that you build. I'm Wayne Pekarsky, and I'll see you next time.